Welcome to ITZ Diamond Talk. Today's video is going to be about the two ways to feel the ground ball from the outfield. First up, we have our standard ground ball in the outfield. This is nobody on base. There's really not a lot of action going on. Balls hit to you in the outfield. You just need to keep it in front of you and get the ball back into second base. Okay. So what we're going to do is we always want to get behind the baseball and our number one objective in the outfield is to not let the ball get behind us. So in order to do that on a ground ball, we want to get behind the baseball. Okay. It's off to the side. We got to get behind the baseball and we want to come down, knocking the ball down, keeping it in front of us. All right. So if, our glo if, if the glove is on the floor, fine, but get your whole body behind the baseball so that you can knock it down and get it back into the infield as soon as possible to try to prevent the runners from advancing to a different base. This is really uh, our best way to do it because by going down to a knee and keeping it on the side of you, you're putting a lot more of your body behind the ball to stop it. You can move your glove from here. Make sure you get around it and behind the baseball. The next ground ball we have in the outfield is the do or die play or the play with runners on base looking to either score or advance to the next base. So with this, we want to feel the ball on the run coming through the ball, letting our momentum take us into the throw. So on this play, we're going to feel the ball off of our glove side foot. So we're not going to square up the ground ball like we would in the infield because we need to be able to move quickly and efficiently into our throw. So an easy way to practice this one is put a ball in your glove to start. And all you're going to do is start moving forward, right, left for a righty, come down fielding the ball off of the floor, coming up into a throwing position. That's all we need to work at first, is to get comfortable with that movement. So again, ball in your glove, right foot, left foot, come down to catch it. Now as we're standing up to get into our power position to throw, we're going to bring this right foot forward to our target, setting up our body to make a proper throw into the field. To progress from that, start with the ball on the ground. Now we have to approach the ball as if it's rolling towards us and we have to make the play. So again, we're going to start with our right foot. We can even start chopping our feet here. Right, left, right, left, come through, scoop it off the ground, come up into that power position for the throw. Again, this play happens with runners on base, runners in scoring position, trying to go home. You got to come up firing the ball try to make the out at the next base. So there you have it. There's your two ways to feel the ground ball in the outfield. Number one, nobody on, get behind it, around it, knock it down, come up, get it back into the infield. Number two, do or die play, runners on base, come up off that glove side foot, scoop it into a good power position to throw it back in as hard as you can, gun that runner out. Thanks for watching ITZ Diamond.